be fine. If we take the lines away, the most interesting star, I think, the, the star that could be shocking in our sky is this one, Betelgeuse or Betelgeuse. It's a red giant star. If you put it where the sun is, it would extend out to the orbit of Jupiter. It's enormous. It's very unstable. It's about to explode. In the eerie depths of space, an astronomical enigma unfolds. Recent observations have thrust Betelgeuse, a colossal star, into the spotlight, revealing a disquieting deviation from its usual cosmic choreography. The James Webb Space Telescope, an unblinking sentinel of the cosmos, has captured this celestial anomaly, sending ripples of both excitement and foreboding through the astronomical community. Behold the unsettling metamorphosis as Betelgeuse, a luminary giant, defies cosmic norms, intensifying its luminosity in a celestial dance that defies explanation. Is this a cosmic harbinger, a haunting prelude to the spectacular demise of a star in the throes of a supernova? Prepare for an otherworldly exploration as we navigate the cosmic mysteries surrounding Betelgeuse. Join us in unraveling the cryptic signals that emanate from this celestial giant, exploring the depths of the universe's most breathtaking phenomena, Supernovae, the explosive final manifestations of massive stars, stand among the most intense and captivating events in the universe. These phenomena mark the culmination of a star's life cycle, bringing both destruction and creation. To grasp the potential explosion of Betelgeuse, it is essential to comprehend the principles of supernovae. A supernova occurs when a star depletes its nuclear fuel, leading to a collapse under its own gravity. This triggered collapse results in a massive explosion capable of outshining entire galaxies for a brief period. There are two main categories of supernovae. The first, known as a type I supernova, occurs in a binary star system, where a white dwarf accumulates too much mass from its companion, triggering an uncontrolled nuclear reaction. The second, a type II supernova, is what we expect Betelgeuse to undergo. This type occurs when a massive star, significantly larger than our sun, depletes its nuclear fuel. The core's collapse causes an explosion of colossal proportions. The opportunity to witness a supernova from Earth evokes both excitement and humility. If Betelgeuse were to explode, it would represent a unique chance to closely observe this extraordinary phenomenon. But what impact would it have on our night sky? Could Betelgeuse's explosion truly dominate the nighttime sky in every corner of the world? Throughout the centuries, supernovae have been observed and documented, providing valuable insights into the life and death of stars. One of the most famous supernovae observed in modern times is Supernova 1987A, which exploded in the Large Magellanic Cloud, a galaxy near the Milky Way. It was the most meticulously observed supernova since the invention of the telescope, offering invaluable data to astronomers. The energy released in a supernova is extraordinary. For a brief moment, the explosion can emit an amount of energy equal to what our sun will produce during its entire existence. This powerful emission illuminates the night sky and plays a significant role in the broader cosmic context. Supernovae are responsible for spreading crucial elements such as carbon, nitrogen, and oxygen throughout the universe, elements essential for life as we know it, and key components in the formation of planets and new stars. The impact of a supernova goes beyond the mere synthesis of elements. It also involves the dispersion of these elements into the interstellar medium, where they can contribute to the creation of new stellar systems. Additionally, Shockwaves generated by a supernova can trigger the formation of stars in nearby gas clouds, perpetuating the cycle of stellar birth and death. Analyzing supernovae provides astronomers with crucial data on the expansion of the universe. By measuring the brightness of these distant explosions, scientists can infer the rate of the universe's expansion, with implications for our understanding of cosmology and the ultimate fate of the cosmos. Supernova 1987A was particularly significant in the field of astronomy, allowing scholars to directly observe the core collapse process and the subsequent explosion, enriching our knowledge of the final stages of massive star evolution. Betelgeuse, characterized by its distinctive red hue, is a red supergiant star located in the Orion constellation. It is one of the most imposing stars visible to the naked eye, with a diameter about 900 times that of our Sun. 
This extraordinary size and its relative proximity to Earth make it a prominent presence in our night sky. Although estimated to be around 10 million years old, Betelgeuse is relatively young in stellar terms, but rapidly approaches the end of its life. Due to its substantial mass, Betelgeuse is also a variable star, exhibiting periodic changes in its brightness over time, a feature that has captured astronomers' attention for many decades. With an estimated mass about 20 times that of the Sun, Betelgeuse contributes to its short lifespan and inevitable transformation into a supernova. The significant loss of mass, evident as the star sheds its outer layers, is another fascinating aspect subject to careful scientific investigation. This process is a typical precursor to the supernova phase in the lives of massive stars like Betelgeuse. Recently, Betelgeuse has been the focus of intense observation due to significant fluctuations in its brightness. Astronomers have noted that this normally bright star is undergoing an unusual dimming, a phenomenon that has sparked both interest and concern in the scientific community. Betelgeuse's dimming is particularly noteworthy as it typically ranks among the top 10 brightest stars in the night sky. This change has prompted various speculations and numerous theories regarding the current and future state of the star. Several hypotheses have been proposed to explain Betelgeuse's dimming. A prevailing theory suggests that the star is undergoing a phase of stellar pulsation. As a red supergiant, Betelgeuse is nearing the end of its life and such stars are known for their pulsations, involving the expansion and contraction of their outer layers. These pulsations can generate variations in brightness, offering a possible explanation for recent observations. Another theory posits that large-scale convective processes within the star may cause such changes, rearranging material on its surface and influencing the amount of emitted light. Furthermore, the presence of enormous sunspots on Betelgeuse's surface, much larger than those on our sun, could contribute to its dimming. These sunspots, colder and darker regions on the stellar surface, can have a significant impact on the brightness observed from Earth. There is also the hypothesis that Betelgeuse's dimming could be attributed to an increase in dust production as the star loses mass in the final stages of its life cycle. The expelled material could form a dust cloud, obscuring part of the starlight and causing a perceived attenuation. The recent behavioral variations of Betelgeuse have raised questions about the possibility of an imminent supernova. While a plausible prospect considering the star's life stage, astronomers caution that such an event may not be imminent. Supernovae are rare and unpredictable events, and even though Betelgeuse will eventually end its existence spectacularly, Predicting the exact timing is a challenging task. Betelgeuse's recent dimming has inaugurated a fascinating chapter in astronomy, replete with mysteries and possibilities. Scholars continue to scrutinize this enigmatic star and more definitive answers about Betelgeuse's future and the significance of these changes for our understanding of stellar life cycles may soon emerge. The question on many minds is whether these signals could herald a supernova one of the grandest shows in the universe. Understanding Betelgeuse's potential supernova involves recognizing the signs astronomers monitor in an event of such magnitude. Typically, a star destined to become a supernova displays various indicators. A crucial sign is a significant change in brightness, as observed in Betelgeuse. Another sign can be the star expanding and ejecting material into space, a behavior often observed in stars nearing the end of their life cycle. Additionally, astronomers look for variations in the star's spectrum, the light it emits, capable of indicating changes in its internal processes. These spectral changes can reveal new elements forming as the star consumes its nuclear fuel in different phases. An increase in neutrino emissions represents another critical indicator. These nearly massless particles are generated abundantly in the final stages of nuclear fusion in the stellar core. Furthermore, Irregularities in the star's pulsation patterns may suggest instability, anticipating an imminent supernova. In the case of Betelgeuse, the combination of these factors, especially the drastic change in brightness, has generated widespread speculation about its fate. Astronomers also monitor an increase in the star's temperature, which can serve as an additional precursor to a supernova as the star depletes its nuclear fuel, and the core heats up in the final stages of fusion. 
However, it is crucial to note that, while suggestive, these signs are not conclusive. Many stars exhibit similar behaviors without culminating in a supernova. The timing of a supernova remains one of the great mysteries of astronomy, as predicting when a star like Betelgeuse might explode is challenging, given the complexity of the factors involved. While the changes in Betelgeuse are remarkable, they do not provide a clear timeline. A supernova could occur in the coming weeks, years, or even millennia. The unpredictable nature of such events means astronomers can only continue monitoring the star to gather further clues. The uncertainty arises, at least in part, because the processes leading to a supernova occur deep inside the star, hidden from direct observation. Advanced models and simulations are employed to understand these internal dynamics, but they can only approximate the actual conditions. Additionally, each star is unique in terms of mass, age, and chemical composition, factors that influence the entire supernova timeline. The influence of external factors, such as interactions with other celestial bodies and the stellar environment, adds further layers of complexity to predictions. Similarly, the scarcity of historical data on supernova makes it challenging to draw definitive conclusions from past events. However, this lack of a clear timeline does not diminish the importance of ongoing investigation into Betelgeuse. Current observations continue to offer valuable insights into stellar evolution and supernova mechanisms. The potential supernova of Betelgeuse is a source of great interest and speculation, but also of uncertainty. With the progressive accumulation of data and constant observation of stellar behavior, we may approach a clearer understanding of if and when Betelgeuse will meet its spectacular end. Currently, the star remains shrouded in mystery in our nighttime sky, a testament to our dynamic and ever-evolving universe. Betelgeuse's potential supernova not only attracts scientific interest, but also the prospect of an extraordinary visual spectacle in our nighttime sky. The explosion of such a massive and relatively nearby star like Betelgeuse could radically alter the appearance of our sky. In the event of an explosion, Betelgeuse would shine with exceptional brightness, potentially outshining even the moon and becoming visible even during the day. Its supernova would be a kind of celestial beacon, visible practically from every part of Earth for weeks or even months. Such an event would represent a unique, once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to observe with the naked eye an extraordinary stellar phenomenon. In addition to that, it would offer significant implications for astrophotography and amateur astronomy, allowing the extraordinary opportunity to capture and study in detail such a close astronomical event. For professional astronomers, a Betelgeuse supernova would be a treasure trove of data on the dynamics of such explosions, potentially revolutionizing our understanding of stellar evolution. The light curve during the explosion, recording variations in brightness over time, would be a crucial point, offering important insights into the underlying physics of the event. Spectroscopic analysis during the supernova would reveal information about the composition of ejected materials, contributing to our understanding of how elements disperse throughout the galaxy. Moreover, the supernova could illuminate the surrounding interstellar material, offering a rare view of the structure of the space region around Betelgeuse. The event could serve as a natural laboratory to study the effects of a supernova on nearby celestial bodies, including any potential impact on the interstellar medium. From a scientific perspective, a supernova of such magnitude would be an unparalleled opportunity for astronomical research. Supernova are crucial to our understanding of the life cycle of stars, the distribution of elements in the universe, and the dynamics of cosmic events. Observing a supernova in such detail would provide unprecedented insights into these processes. Scientists could analyze the shock waves generated by the explosion, the resulting nebula, and the creation of heavy elements projected into space. This event could significantly enrich our understanding of stellar physics and galaxy evolution. Speaking of potential impacts on Earth, it is essential to emphasize that Betelgeuse is located at a distance of about 700 light years. At this considerable distance, a supernova would not pose a direct threat to our planet in terms of physical impact. Despite its immensity, 
the energy and radiation released by the explosion would be sufficiently dispersed in the vastness of space to reach Earth harmlessly. However, the event could have some indirect consequences. For example, the increased brightness in the nighttime sky could influence nocturnal wildlife and astronomical observations. In addition, cosmic rays emitted by the supernova could interact with the Earth's atmosphere, potentially leading to more intense auroras. The event could also subtly affect the Earth's ionosphere, influencing radio wave propagation and satellite communications. Historical studies have indicated that past supernovae may have had minimal effects on Earth's climate, although the effects of a Betelgeuse supernova are expected to be negligible. On the contrary, the explosion could serve as a stimulus for scientific education and public interest in astronomy, triggering a global discussion about the wonders of the universe. It could also foster international collaboration in astronomical research, with scientists from around the world collaborating to study this extraordinary event. In considering the potential Betelgeuse supernova, it is crucial to adopt a holistic approach that helps us understand the intricacies of space and time in the universe. A fundamental concept in this context is understanding how light traverses the vastness of space, the light from stars like Betelgeuse does not reach Earth in real time. It is, instead, a glimpse into the past. Betelgeuse, located about 700 light years away, means that the light we perceive today began its journey about 700 years ago. This delay in light propagation creates a fascinating time capsule effect, allowing us to scrutinize celestial events that took place centuries ago. Looking back at the history and fate of Betelgeuse, this red supergiant has had an extraordinary journey in the vast cosmos. Stars like Betelgeuse arise from the gravitational collapse of a gas and dust cloud over millions of years. They fuse hydrogen in their cores into helium, generating energy that illuminates the universe. However, this phase is just the beginning. As stars like Betelgeuse deplete their hydrogen fuel, they transition to the red supergiant phase, expanding in size and changing color. The future of Betelgeuse, like that of all red supergiants, leads to an explosive conclusion as a supernova. This event will represent the pinnacle of its life cycle, leaving behind either a neutron star or a black hole. The lifespan of a star like Betelgeuse is significantly shorter than that of smaller stars like our Sun, mainly due to its massive size and rapid consumption of nuclear fuel. In the red supergiant phase, Betelgeuse continues nuclear fusion in its core now converting heavier elements like carbon and oxygen. Each fusion phase is shorter than the previous one, culminating in the final stages where iron forms in the core. Iron fusion does not generate energy, leading to the ultimate gravitational collapse of the star. The spectacular supernova that follows will not only be a celestial spectacle, but will also represent a crucial moment for astrophysicists, offering a rare opportunity to observe and study the final stages of stellar evolution. The role of supernovae in the universe is vital. These explosions, besides being visually stunning, play a crucial role in the cosmic cycle of life. Supernovae are the primary source of many heavy elements in the universe. During these explosions, elements like carbon, oxygen, and iron are formed and expelled into space. This cosmic dispersal of elements is crucial as it contributes to forming new stars, planets, and even life. Essentially, Elements essential for our existence on Earth were once part of remote stars that exploded as supernovae. If Betelgeuse were to supernova in the near future, it would offer an unprecedented spectacle and a rare opportunity for scientists to study such a monumental event in detail. However, the fascinating question of when this stellar explosion might occur remains unanswered in the astronomical community.